for a late night walk. You want to come? No, I'm already in my pajamas. Well, I guess that's not going to happen. <laughs> and hello, YouTube. Okay. Wait a minute. I have a special announcement. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are watching this, including my mom. Okay, this is the day as they're watching this video. Yes. Because we filmed this on May 1st. Today's May 8th as you're watching this, right? Yes. So happy Mother's Day for everybody happy out there. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. All right, I guess I'm going for my walk. Ooh, hello, YouTube. Out for my nighttime walk. I gotta start doing these whenever possible. Skies are overcast, but we are going to walk down this way. And of course, you know what's going to happen at the end of the block. We'll see what happens on the next clip. But it's a nice, but you can see the skies are kind of overcast tonight. And we're going to wrap things up here real quick. But uh, we'll see what kind of walk we're going to do. Can't see a whole lot. Because it's dark out there. Okay. Uh, we're not going to be able to walk the riverfront dike because I don't have time. See you guys later. Just like last week. Uh, when Angie and I walked past here, but it was like uh, towards dusk. That's when we saw the deer through there. I'm not walking this way home tonight. I'm gonna walk a different route home. So I'll just. So this is the only time I'll walk past here tonight. Uh, that's what I'm gonna plan to do. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna plan to do. We'll just walk a different way. I was thinking about walking the dike up to Riverfront, and I realized at the time. I don't have the time uh, to be done by 11 p.m. curfew. So we're gonna walk uh, the main drag uh, up to the north end of town. There is a slight drizzle anyway, but there is no organized rain showers uh, in the area. So I think we're still good to go And that. I have seen my share of walking videos here on YouTube. And uh, sometimes some of those walking videos do not end well uh, for some reason. Uh, because somebody decided, even if they live stream their walk or do an edited video and somebody doesn't like it, so they'll call the authorities and, you know, basically live streaming. That's why we don't do much live streaming here on the channel, which we'll do, we'll do one sometime soon. But there's a reason I don't like to do a whole lot of live streaming uh, because of other reasons, probably safety reasons. That I hope that's not heavier rain because radar says no rain in the air, it's just light uh, drizzle. Unless there's this clouds dispersing and it's just more raindrops. That's probably what it is. So we should be okay in that. So yeah, it's just one of those things I see on YouTube and it's one of those uh, unfortunately, um, it's, if people don't like a legal activity, they gotta call the cops on it. And yes, the cops do investigate every, every, uh, case. But some, I'm gonna say some, not all, but there is a percentage of, I hate to say this, bad cops out there will, will just escalate things, uh, basically. But right now, our local law enforcement, they've been pretty cool with us. Uh, because uh, they like the content that we do. Uh, so that's why they're cool with us. And sometimes, con sometimes content gets a little controversial at times, but legally, uh, it's all binding and good, uh, basically. So we just try not to do something that would get us uh, legally in trouble, uh, something like that. Uh, what about my beer drinking, Chuck? Do you, I know you always like to be drunk on the channel. Well, that's a YouTube guideline policy. And because I delayed my videos seven days, uh, there's really, uh, there's not much they can do, uh, basically. Uh, because I do delay my videos seven days. And I've been doing it for about three to four years now. So, it's no, uh, I do that for safety reasons and legal reasons. But, I've, but everybody has their reasons. But uh, I, I'm gonna stick with them too. Okay, like I said, nothing going on tonight here. And I think we're done with here tonight. So we'll see you later going up the main drag. Just trying to take a slightly different route. I'm kind of uh, two blocks, uh, two to three blocks north where I normally take. I just kind of took it like a shortcut. So normally we don't see the stoplight 
uh, where I usually walk down to. Usually I see my first stoplight is when I reach uh, 2nd Street and that. So, but we're up here. Like I said, it's a little shortcut I'm taking tonight. And see uh, what else can go, uh, happens tonight. But so far, pretty good walk so far at, at this point. Since this road is closed for construction, uh, I normally cross about a couple blocks down that way, head, head, head down or head the other way. But like I said, I just had to come up this way more. And uh, just kind of do this route instead. See, we're on, because we're on the north side, I thought I would just show you a better view of the courthouse and the new law center. I wish I would have filmed the old law center uh, they had here. Uh, it was a unique building by itself. And I kind of miss vlogging it. I don't remember seeing it in my older videos, but I missed tearing it down up there. But, yep, courthouse, new law center, jail, and that. All right now, we're going to come up here. We're going to hang a left and head up that street uh, somewhat. Okay? Uh, that's why I like walking up this way. There's more lights. You just feel more secure walking this way until I start walking towards home. Uh, there is a drizzle in the area, but still no organized rain showers in the area. And that, so, uh, yeah, so, nice, still a nice night for a walk. It's not too hot. It's not really cold either. It warmed up since this afternoon, to tell you the truth. So I had to wear a winter coat earlier today. I'm just down to a sweatshirt, as you saw in the previous clips. Okay, uh, we're just uh, a couple miles away to our destination. Sorry guys, I had to sit down and rest a little bit. That was a long, long walk, and this is the only bench in the area until I get up to the north end of town. Just kind of watching the traffic go by, which is not much tonight. It's almost 10.30 at night, so uh, a lot of stores are closing up for the night and that. Uh, hey, I heard a uh, word that a lot of stores are going back to their pre-pandemic hours, uh, before the pandemic. Uh, some stores will be going back to those hours, which is great, but uh, to see what happens uh, officially. But I heard a lot of businesses are going back to their pre uh, pandemic hours before the pandemic hit was well, this is good that'd be great for the economy and that so right now I'm just gonna sit here relax watch the traffic go by and we'll get going here that's a raindrop right there yeah I'm gonna go past this building day or night I've always wanted to say I want five hamburgers and a half pound fries uh, special wonder why that used to be mr. quicks at one time uh, right now, the only ones that are still open is in uh, Muskegon, Michigan, and a few other Michigan locations. So if you want Mr. Quicks, I head up there to uh, Muskegon, Michigan to find Mr. Quicks. They still do that special. I think it's five hamburgers and a pound of fries for, uh, for one price. Yeah, I love those quick hamburgers. They were soppy, but good. Almost my destination. Uh, I don't know if Angie texted me to remind me to get bread. I don't know if it's uh, still on sale at 50 cents a loaf. If it is, I'll grab a couple loaves. But yeah, we're up here, north end of town. Uh, just walking away. Yep. Nice night. A little drizzle here and there still, but uh, we're still plugging along. Okay, uh, once I get my beverage, I'm just going to get my beverage, uh, I think a sandwich, then if the bread is on sale, I'll pick up a couple loaves, if not, I'll just, I'll just still pick up a couple loaves. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to get too wet on the way home, but I'll check weather radar before I go into the store. Actually, let me pause right now, and I'll check weather radar. Okay, weather radar says I'm good for at least three to four hours, but there is a small development uh, being developed out by Des Moines. So, I think I'm good for another two, two and a half hours, at least. Then we'll just go in there real quick. Quick start. I got a 
my chocolate milk. I got two pieces of fried chicken still hot uh, at this hour. It's after 11 o'clock. And yes, the bread was on sale. 50 cents a loaf as you watch this video. Maybe as you watch this video. Uh, because they had it on sale for a while. We're at the north end of town. Uh, I'm going to sit here, relax a little bit. And enjoy uh, a little midnight snack before I head for home. Alright, even though walking at night is scary half the time. Uh, I just don't know what could go wrong at all times. It's always best I have the camera on me. Uh, but trying to leave it on all the time is not the best part. Unless you have a backup battery thing. It's already fully charged, ready to go. Now I do swap out the batteries in that. So, all right, But I got to do it quickly in that. Then uh, um, I just forgot to bring the charger. The, the actual charger so I can charge up the dead battery at the same time. But uh, like I said, it's it's got a good long uh, power to it. So... We'll just see what happens. Excuse me. That was good chicken. I'm just finishing up that last piece right there. So, uh, yeah. And like I said, when we go out of town, uh, uh, doing videos uh, out of town, because of the so-called First Amendment auditors, uh, those are the ones that likes to stand in front of businesses and just get a, a rise with somebody. And that's not... The proper way to do it for me i think i did it the proper way uh about a uh, last about last month as you as you're watching this video almost a month ago hard to believe in that so <coughs> excuse me here i'm coming right back i'll explain that well like i said when we walked around chicago uh things can go wrong there anytime we go out of town and do a walking video uh around town uh i think the last one we did this past summer was in mesa and Phoenix, and of course we did Chicago. We knew uh, about the law enforcement situation in those communities, and it's only those communities, uh, basically. Uh, but usually we have, in the long run, we really had little to no issue uh, when it comes to video and taping, video and, and walking up and down public sidewalks, and we do, let's say, I'm right here at this business, right here at the spectator table, but I'm still, working on my drink here before I move on, uh, basically. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's always scary when you're out, out and about because it takes a wrong person to make a phone call on you before you know it. Uh, you're making headline news because somebody just decided uh, somebody gets triggered happy with their taser and, and their firearm and all of a sudden... Uh, one of our subscribers will be doing our funeral services and uh, and, uh, and, <laughs> and all kinds of investigations goes on all because of a Karen and Darren. And I did talk about that uh, recently on a video, but some of you guys did not like that video. Uh, I hope Karma doesn't come after you guys on the ones that put thumbs down on that video. Uh, if you did, uh, I go back and change it before Karma catches up to you. Uh, yeah, uh, there's still a busybody uh, out and about. Businesses are closing uh, around town. Of course, there'll be somebody will be on the phone to get it investigated. Uh, like I said, uh, when it comes to live streaming here on YouTube, uh, it, it is a risk. Uh, it, everybody takes a risk when they live stream here on YouTube uh, because it takes somebody to do a swatting. Uh, yeah. Uh, even if, even because they like to get aroused, but unfortunately it is a felony, uh, in that because I heard it could carry, last person was charged with a swatting call, face anywhere from 10 to 20 years behind bars, uh, basically, because they committed murder by using law enforcement, uh, to commit their crimes, uh, basically, so that's what they did, uh, basically, so it's not good at all parties involved uh, especially if the ones get caught uh, if you find them guilty you can face 10 to 20 behind bars all right uh, like I said like I said anything you go when I do these late night walks doesn't mean you have a late night walk it'd be a broad daylight walk uh, in broad daylight when there's more traffic more people out and about and it's just uh, comes down to is uh, anything can go wrong 
uh, when I'm out and about. Anyway, I face it all these years, uh, and I'm sure I'm still going to face it in many years to come. Uh, when it comes to uh, being out and about at whatever hour, either at late at night or in broad daylight. Anything and everything can go wrong, just hopefully it's uh, not on camera. Because if something goes wrong with me, no one is going to be able to edit it. Angie doesn't know how to edit any videos. <laughs> That's the scary part. Doesn't know how to edit. I need a backup editor, too. Alright, we're going to get going here. We'll... Head our way home. Not probably a couple more clips on the way home, and we'll talk to you. Uh, uh, yeah, a couple more clips, then we'll finish it up at home. Oh, yeah, look at the sky up there tonight. Like I said, we're on our way home. I got, uh, I think, about a mile and a half to walk from here because this is a shortcut we're taking. We're going up to that traffic light. We're gonna see it's green and that flashing yellow up ahead. We're gonna be hanging a right at that stoplight up there. So, uh, we'll do one more clip. I gotta stretch my legs somewhat. Uh, I have to use that one wall barrier to use, to stretch my legs. Okay. Oh, the reason you've seen the wires going through the fence, fence, I got a fence here. We're at that official government place where some of the YouTuber likes to do his first minute audits. So he can dox your guys' addresses. Uh, in a way, uh, yeah. Once, we'll, once, uh, once they—that's where you usually pick up your your sticker for your license, driver's license, and all that stuff. Then it becomes public information because it's on the back of a car where everybody can read it and that. So, uh, reason I'm doing this, I'm I'm stretching out my lower back. I uh, thought uh, this—I normally do it up there a little bit, but I need a place to put the camera. And it looks like I'm behind bars. Does it? Uh, yeah, because. That fence is, it's a safety fence, uh, basically, so, uh, yeah, I'm just, just made that turn down there, and we gotta go home, we gotta go in that direction to head home, so, right now, I'm just sitting here, not sitting, I'm stretching, uh, my legs and lower back, because it needs it, my back is killing me, this has been a long walk, uh, for me, not for you guys, you guys got it easy, because you guys sit there, sit at home, relax, having a tub of popcorn, a little soda, maybe a beer or two, whatever. Um, whatever suits your fancy, what floats your boat, do it. Uh, right now, <laughs> my back's killing me and my lower legs, so I gotta stretch, stretch it out. All right, all right. We'll see you when we uh, make that turn for the home stretch. Oh. Okay, a little breezy up here, but we're entering the home stretch. It's about 5 after 12. I'm tired and I'm dragging my feet. And right now, like I said, this is our home stretch. Uh, we'll see you when we get home. Alright, it's been a good walk to this point. Yep. Just got home. Wow, uh, that's a good walk. Very good walk. Okay, made it home safely. Like I said, uh, some of these nighttime walks can be a little scary, but sometimes the daytime walks can be more dangerous because there's got a lot more traffic. But yeah, it can be scary either way. But we are, we are home safely, and I'm already up with this video. Oh man, what a good walk. I need these walks more and more than that. But uh, I gotta get that weight down too. Uh, legs are hurting a little bit, but like I said, it's with the weather's been acting up, uh, busy schedules, just hard to get out on these walks more and more. And I really need to start doing them more and more and more. And that, so maybe I'll keep my weight down, hopefully, this time. All right, like I said, we're going to wrap up this video. It was a long video. And like I said, a lot of good issues uh, we have to be aware of when we're out on these walks. Doesn't matter if it's here in town or in our city. Uh, we are aware when we go out on these, uh, when we go out to our places, uh, law enforcement can be a little bit different uh, in, our, in those areas. Right now, our area has been uh, pretty, pretty good to us. 
uh, been pretty fair in that, and they do kind of watch out for us, uh, which is nice. And sometimes they will interact, sometimes they won't interact, but they just see that uh, if you're doing something legally, they, they can't bug you, uh, basically. That's it. Unless you're one of those uh, thorns that likes to stand out in front of places, a thumb up their butt trying to get aroused. Me, when I did that walking audit uh, last month, uh, all I was doing was walking by, and the main purpose of that video was to ensure that I do have a public right away on certain sidewalks and access to uh, what they call the side of the road. I keep forgetting what it is. Um, the side of the road, it's like a little right of way that the state or city has, uh, basically. So that's it. And it looks like you guys are fogging up because it was a little cold out there on the way home. Uh, we'll just go ahead and wrap up this video, okay? Uh, please like, share, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe button, notification bell. We'll probably do more of these night walks as the summertime hits because there's going to be times I'm going to have trouble sleeping. And the best way to go to bed is take a nice long walk. Uh, it's going to happen again later this summer. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.